another right edge vlog, or should I say, Adventures in Film. <laughs> it's, it's been a while since I've done an Adventures in Film episode, and I really feel bad because I kind of, I started the series last year with a couple videos and I just basically stopped. So today, as you can see, I'm in my office. I apologize for the acoustics. It sounds like I'm in a cave. It sounds terrible, actually. We'll have to work on that. Well, I think on my last Adventures in Film video, I kind of left you at Lost Lake, I believe I was. And I was working on some Ektar film at the time. That film is, is still not processed. But I thought I should tell you why I um, kind of put that on the back burner and explain a little bit. Things have changed after I started the series that I couldn't really justify the cost of the film. So what I did was I basically left the job I was, I was working at. I've been working for a, a newspaper for 25 years. So basically I went from a, you know weekly income to no income. And it was just, I just couldn't justify the cost of a processing film just to do a video about it. I decided I wasn't going to shoot film, or at least for a while. But this week, when I was setting up my office, I had I have an old scanner, fairly old Epson scanner. It's fairly decent quality, but it's, it's pretty old. I moved it into the office thinking, well, it's not working, but maybe I can get it to work. So I, I connected it to a newer computer and downloaded um, more up-to-date drivers for it. And lo and behold, <laughs> I, can, I can actually scan film now. So I started pulling out some of my old 4x5 transparencies and negatives and um, started scanning them and realized that there was a lot of stuff on there that I, I really liked. I realized how good 4x5 sheet film is. It's just amazing. 4x5 inches. Amazing. And then I started thinking, well, you know, I, I convert a lot of my color now to black and white when I shoot on my digital. So I wonder how that, I wonder how my color 4x5 stuff would hold up. Hold up to converting to black and white. There was a lot of images on there that, you know, like there I thought, well, they might actually be better in black and white. And so I started basically using the same process I, I do for um, processing my digital files. And I went and took my uh, color transparencies from my 4x5 film and converted them to black and white. I was quite surprised to see how well the color film transferred over to black and white. Let's do a comparison here. This is this is a sheet of uh, medium format film with the smaller of the medium format six, four, five images. Pretty small. So there's, there's three of them across here. So imagine 35 millimeter is like, like half again this size. It's like it's quite a bit smaller. So then we got this to one of these <laughs> you can't see through it like I can I just, it's amazing amazing and if I shot in black and white uh, on black and white film and process it myself it might be worth it to do the the uh, images that <laughs> I've been getting I just I'm just digging and that's it's kind of dangerous to go back and look now I, I've shot a lot of different formats with film in the old days I shot four by five a little two and a quarter and lots of 35 millimeter the four by five cameras that I've used were I can yeah, there's one back there on the table that's an old it's not worth anything but it's an old monorail that I just keep around because I couldn't get any money for it if I wanted to sell it. Thing, thing must weigh 30 pounds. 
And I've also had um, wooden field cameras that, that fold up nice. And I really, of all the camera gear that I regret letting go and, and selling, that's probably one of those cameras that I, I should have just kept. But I really needed the money at the time, and so I put that money into another piece of gear. You know, there's always camera gear you regret selling. And that, that 4x5 field camera, I can't remember what brand it was, but it was, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. I do miss having that camera. So much so that I'm, I'm actually been looking online to see what's out there in the used market and in the new market. And there's actually still new 4x5 cameras being made. I still own a lens. I think it's a 135 millimeter. I hung on to that. I used to have wide angle. I might add a wide angle lens, maybe a short telephoto if I decide to shoot more 4x5. And I also have some film, film holders. So it really wouldn't be that much to, for me to get back into shooting 4x5 film. I, especially if I bought a camera like the Intrepid, I, I, I don't think it's, it's probably less than $400. I think they build those in, in, the, in the UK. And that's a, an option for shooting more 4x5 film. Right now I'll probably do most of the film shooting in, in, in two and a quarter. Because there's some stuff I really still need to try and experiment with and to see if I actually need to go all the way up to 4x5 to get the quality I want. It's hard not to want to go up to 4x5 when you look at the quality and how easy it is to get that quality as far as scanning goes. It doesn't take much of a scanner to scan a 4x5 piece of film and make it and have it look good. It's a little tougher when you get down to sizes like 35mm because they've got to really be enlarged quite a bit to get, um, to get them big enough. Stuff to think about. I really never thought that film would be commercially something I would use ever again. But the more I, I start in looking into it, the uh, idea of you shooting um, print film for portraits, it's starting to pique my interest. There's just a certain look and color palette that certain films bring that if you don't want to spend hours on the computer, it's, it would actually be probably more economical to shoot it in film. So in the future, I'm also thinking about doing some uh, portrait work with film because I have a two and a quarter camera that would be great for, for portraits. I could see doing senior portraits, family shoots and that kind of thing with film. So let, let's show some of the images that I've that I recently just scanned. Just amazing. Amazing. Expensive too.